No, no. Elders of Umwegwe, to what do I owe this unusual visit? I hope all is well. Uh, my brother Nwafo, all is well. But in the other hand, all is not well. Tell me, why is the rabbit now found in the broad daylight? <clears throat> we have come to see your daughter, Oledo. My daughter? What has she done? Elders of Umingo. We greet you, one, your ma. Uh, is your daughter around? Oh, yes, she went to the stream not long ago. When is she coming back? When? Uh, my elders, please, can you just tell us, what is the problem? My fellow elders, since Oledu is not here, we will not go until she returns. Let us wait for her.
others want from her daughter? That I cannot tell. Hey. But uh, do you think she has done something bad? No, 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 no. Our daughter is not like all those other girls in this village. Muigwe. She does not go about looking for trouble. But why are they so mean about seeing her? That is my worry. Hi, Chimo. I have pleaded with them to at least go home for now. When our daughter returns, we will come and inform them so that they can come and see her. Rather, they have insisted to stay seated there without saying a word. Still there. Yes, I know. But see, eh? Don't you think I should go and tell them to go? No, 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 no. You must not do such a thing. But I sense danger on their faces. How can we just sit and watch them stay like that? My wife, don't worry. I know what to do. I know what to do. Mm. Yes. Mm? I know what to do. I greet you all once again. Uh, my daughter is still not back. I wonder what is keeping her. The same way we are worried. Where is she? Um, my elders, you can give us the message. Yes, give us the message. So when she comes, we will pass it on to her, yes. rather than sitting down here. Well, since she is not yet back, we have to be on our way. But remember, we will still return back here this evening. Or first thing tomorrow morning. Going without stating your mission. We will leave our hearts hanging. Whatever it is, say it. We can bear it. Don't worry, Mwafo. Our mission needs our presence, not you. Um, um, uh, elders of our land, I hope all is well. Very much well, but for now, we have to be on our way. Nay, all is not well. me to stop me. So, what do you want? Why are you acting as if we are quarreling? What have I done so wrong that, that you hate me so much? Ulima, you have not done anything wrong to me. Then what is it? Why don't you see me as a friend? Okay, what do you want? Tell me. What do you want? See, all I do, I want you to be my friend. I want us to be friends. See, of all the maidens in this village, you are the one I see worthy of being called my friend. <laughs> Ulima, as you can see, I have water on my head. And it is heavy. Yours might not be heavy, so I want to go home. Hola. Is that what you're saying? Hola. I 
Mama may not I go. Mama. <laughs> no. Thank you, Mama. I'm there, you look at her. No, Mama. Oh, Mama. Do oh. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> the elders were here to see you. Mama. The elders? Yes. What did they come for? They did state their reasons. But Mama, why? I do not know. But they said they will be coming in the evening. Maybe in the evening or tomorrow morning. Chelupao. Umwonyi kwa furumania. No, Mama. Mama Zioko. Nobody. Did you look for anybody's trouble? No, Mama. All you do. I am your mother. You can always confide in me. I'm a nobody. You want me to believe you? Yes, Mama. Sure? Yes, Mama. I believe you, my child. <laughs> I believe you. Uh, let's wait for them. Maybe this evening or tomorrow morning. Let's know their reasons. Mm -hmm. Mama, let me help you. Don't worry. Go and look for other chores and do. Forget this. Oh? Dear Chori, how's on me? Mama, the new moon will soon be out again. And you know what it means, Mama. It means... I know. I know. You shouldn't allow it to always make you feel sad. Oh? Huh? Mama, I have every reason to feel bad. Mama, I have every reason. I know. See, my child, if it were in our powers to change, your father and I would have changed it long ago. But it's not in our powers. It is your destiny. Mama, it is an evil destiny. Why would the gods make me with such destiny? What did I commit as a child? Mama, am I an evil child? The gods forbid. You're not an evil child and you will never be. Your breath wiped tears away from our eyes. You brought joy and favor into this family until this destiny issue sprang up from nowhere. Mama, do you know how I feel? Each time I remember that I can be dropped dead any moment because of my destiny, Mama. Mama, I feel like... It's okay. It's okay. My child. It's okay, I know. Please. Don't feel bad. You have to accept your destiny the way you see it. One thing that should at least make you happy is that whenever you drop dead, there is a solution to bring you back to life. My daughter, how are you? Fine, How are your parents? They are fine. Papa, hmm? is Chetanara? No, he's not. He just went out not quite long ago. Did he go to the farm? No, he didn't go to the farm. But uh, I'm not very sure where he went. Okay, I think I know where to find him. You really do? Yes. Then go find him. 
Good luck. My daughter, good luck. No doubt, you are the best flutist in our land. Thank you. Did my father tell you I'm here? No, he did not. He does not even know where you are. So how did you find me? Cheta, Cheta, I've known you for so long. And I know you normally come here for your rehearsals. I almost forgot. <coughs> Cheta, what is happening? What do you mean? What is going on between us, you and I? What is happening? I do not understand. Cheta, what is happening between us? You suddenly stop coming to check on me. Don't even care anything about me. What is going on? Uh, Soma, Soma, please. This is not the time to talk about this. Then when is the right time? When is the right time to talk about it? When? Yeah. Is it by force? Ch huh? Chetana, please. Because then, stop this. <coughs> Cheta. I'm done with my rehearsal. Cheta. My love. Cheta. Chetana. How are you today? I'm good. Oh, may our gods be praised. Thank you, Papa. Hey, Papa, is Cheta around? No, he's not. Okay. Uh, do you have any message for him? Not really, Papa. I just want to see him. Oh. He's not around. Okay. Papa, do you have any idea where he went to? Um, I really don't know where he went to. I don't have an idea. Okay, Papa. I have to be on my way now. Is that so? Yes, That's all right. But please, send my greetings to your father. I know. You know he's my very good friend. I know, Papa. Right. Okay, Papa. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. What is it? Please, I need to talk to you. Talk about what? Cheta, why are you bringing up this attitude? Is it because of Oledo? Hey, 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 hey. Whatever you say, do not bring Oledo into this. Can you hear me? Then why are you treating me this way? Why? Is it the love you confess you have for me? The love died when you betrayed me and went for Ikedi. I did not betray you. I only... You only dumped me for Ikedi, right? Cheta, you did not understand the whole thing. I did not. Please, hear me out. Can you just listen to me? Get a grip of yourself and know that nothing happened between us. Simple. Cheta, please. I can't afford to lose you for any other woman. Be cousin, please. Let me advise you. Go somewhere and cool your head. That is what you need now. Cheta. Cheta, Cheta na, Cheta, Cheta, Cheta. Um, thank you for the golan. That's all right. Custom. So, like I 
said earlier. My name is Tike, the son of uh, Anozie from Ugunta, your neighboring village here. Anozie? Yes. The herbalist? Yes. Was your father? Yes. Oh, Anozie was a well known herbalist, and we all loved and respected him. Chai. So, why have you come to see me? I'm a hunter. I go from bush to bush, setting traps for animals. But if I can do that, I normally go to the owner of the land to ask for permission. Especially when it is a land outside our own village. Oh, that's, that's very good of you. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. Um, it's a sign of honesty and humility. So, uh, there is one land at um, Oyato. Oyato? Yes, you know the place. Uh, be, the boundary between us and uh, that we here. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Yes, that uh, land, I want to set up traps there. So, I started making inquiries about the land. They directed me to you. They said uh, you are the owner of that land. So, I said, let me come and see before I can set my traps in my head. I have no problems with that. Hmm? The thing is that it's about five years now I've not entered that farmland. Meaning that there are so many animals there now. You are going to make a lot of profit. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so but when you take the games, uh, don't forget to do something. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, what to do. Go ahead and set your trap. Thank you. Hmm? I wish you, I wish you good luck. Eh? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now be on my way now. Please do, please do. Take care. Let me be good. Thank you. Now. <laughs> the son of a good man behaves like a father. We are God. Yes, so I'm trying to pick these things, select the ones that are dry already. So, uh, uh, how did it go? No. Were uh, you able to see the man? Yes, I did. I saw him. So, what did he say? Yes, I did. Eh? <laughs> I told you. I, I told you that Umigwe people are very good people. No, you are eh? correct. They are very good. No? Eh? I, I noticed that today. Hey, so what is your next plan? Uh, my next plan now is uh, to rest for a while, then get my working materials and uh, start going back to Umuigwe now. You want to go back to Umuigwe now? Uh, not immediately, but today. I'll go back there mm. to set up the trap. Mbam. Mbam. That should be first thing tomorrow morning. You have to rest the whole of today. Mama. Uh, Mama. You said so. Ichigaga, <laughs> uh, what? What do you want me to say again? Let me rest now. Um, on my coach, they can make me here now, no big Why? There's food inside. You can't carry your food. What do you need? No, no more, ma'am.
I bring greetings to this house. Is it Dibia? You're welcome. May the gods forgive me if I tell you that I am not surprised to see you in my place. Yes. What has brought out the spotless antelope of our land to my place? <laughs> spotless, you rightly said. Mwafo, the secret of the vagina can never be seen unless it is opened with the bare hands. Yeah. I come to see only do your daughter. My daughter. What is the problem? What has she done? When the load becomes too heavy for the neck to carry, it then transfers it to the shoulder. Is it, Tibia? You speak in very strong words. And I cannot understand. Your daughter has a solution we seek. Tell her to see me. Immediately she returns. This is Divya. I've heard you. We will deliver the message to her when she comes back. Nine. There is trouble. I know. I know. There is trouble. Hi. Hi. said it before. And let me say it again. I don't hate you. Then why is it difficult to be your friend? You know I don't make friends. That is what everyone in this village is wondering about. You don't associate with the maidens. Why? It is my nature. And I have learned to live with it. And besides, I don't want my name to be associated with any gossip scandal. Hola. All girls are not the same. I have better things to do in my life than to go around and, and gossip. Eh? I just want to be your friend. Hola. Frank, you remind me of your grandmother, Iziada. The best dancer Omoigwe ever had. But Mama, I have heard a lot about her. But you cannot compare my dance with hers. Says who? You even dance better than her. Mama, or this is Kina Sam Kogin. What is Kina Sam Kogin? Is you who can now wag? Kina Abancha no ba. Nego nigeri i hariya ni nena ayo. Ah, that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Nne, I would want us to talk. Now? Yes, now. Okay, Mama. Nikki! Ah, ah. Mama. Kezi, have you eaten? Uh, Mama, I'm not hungry. Besides, I'm in a hurry. Let me hurry to the farmland and check uh, those of my traps. You know, I didn't go there yesterday. Yes, let me go. 
I know you didn't go there yesterday, man. Oh, yeah, I'm going to eat the way, Papa. And now you have to eat before you leave, man. Mama, ma, don't worry. I'm going to eat the way, Papa. Let me go. Hmm? I'm going to eat the way, Papa. Don't stay too long, no, go. No, no, no. I'm not doing anything there. Immediately I go there, check the trap, I'm going to eat the way, I will report immediately. Ah! Dike, dike! I'm going to eat the way, Papa. Ne mama, I am not going anywhere. I will not. How can the SDB walk in here and tell me all they do to come and see him? See him for what? Well, my child, we do not know. But I am convinced from the inside. That whatever reason that made the Ezedivia to come looking for you is of good, not of bad. How are you sure? <laughs> My daughter, we are talking about the chief priest of whom we hear. The Ezedivia. The gods we see. If he wants you to come see him, that means the gods want you to come see them. Why? What do I have to do with the gods? First, it was the elders that came, now the Ezidibia. What is going on? What have I done? You've done nothing wrong, my child. Just go and see him. Then you will know where all these are coming from. Inugo? I am sorry. I will not. Makagine! Cheta, good afternoon. What are you doing here? Cheta, I know you are still angry the way I reacted, but I want to say I am sorry. Let's discuss this some other time, yeah? Leave first, later. Are, are you asking me out of your house? If that is what you call it. Very well then, I shall be on my way. They need to be pampered. I hate when you treat Oledo this way. How else am I supposed to treat her? Like a queen? Even more than a queen. More than a queen? Yeah, of course, yes. Why? Why would I treat her more than a queen? Who is she? Ha. But let me remind you. So many maidens in this village. In fact, all the maidens in this village, I am sure they will kill themselves just to have me talk to them. So why would I be bothering myself about this one? My son. Father. There is more to life than what you see. I know you are doing this to her because you already know that her life depends on you. But let me tell you, listen. The person you help today might be the one that will help your entire family tomorrow. Father, just leave me and Oledo. I know how to handle her.
elders of our land, I greet you. It's great you. You are welcome. My daughter, the elders are here. Fellow elders, please tell us what you have to say. My daughter, I know you have been wondering why I have been coming here looking for you. <clears throat> you are the one to help the people of Umigwe. Umigwe needs your help now. My help? And how? Yes, my daughter. You see, you are a child of uh, destiny. And everyone in Umigwe knows that. And the time is right for you to use your destiny. I still don't understand. <clears throat> Something bad is about to happen on Imigwe. And if we allow this to happen, it will affect both the old and the young. You are the only one that can stop this from happening. Uh, uh, my, my elder. What is this problem that wants to affect our land? And what has my daughter got to do to solve the problem? This is making it to farming season. Hmm? Since Ugebe, the priestess of Minyoma died, that river, which all of us know, is the biggest river in Umibe. It has been without a priestess. Miriamma is not happy with Umigwe and she promised to pay us back with evil. And what is it that Miriamma wants from me? What is it? Not while I'm still alive. Calm down. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm? Nah, don't tell me to calm down. Those elders left their homes and come to our house to tell us that our daughter has been chosen to become the priestess of Miriam. Nah, it is not possible. Read my lips. Here. Yeah. Shouting will not solve this problem. Don't tell me you have given in to what they said. Certainly not. Then do something. Nay, they were here saying all sort of things. You could not utter a word. You were there moping. Moping. Nay. Do you think that I don't know what to then do? Then do something. No, do you think that I don't know That's what, what to I'm do? Saying. Do something. Do something. Because I won't take it lightly with anybody. Okay. First thing tomorrow, I have to meet with the chief priest. You better do. He has big explanation to give to me. Fine. You better do that. Else, this house will not contain the both of us. My only child. Because Don't let that bother you. Adam. Papa. I'm not going to change it. But mama. I don't want to become the priestess. I don't want it, Mama. You will do no such thing. Not while I'm still alive. You know go. But why did the gods choose me? 
whatever their reasons are, it holds no water as far as I'm concerned. Inamia, let me ask you. Do you know what and what is involved in becoming the priestess of Miroma? Do you know? That means I will have to dedicate all my life to serving the goddess. Not only that, you will no longer get married, meaning I will not have my own grandchildren. Impossible. Amame! Here! So, Mama, what do we do now? Relax. First thing tomorrow morning, your father will be going to see Ezedivia. And he will talk with him. After that, we know what next to do. So, relax. Inamiya, omwe rife na eme. Mwa abu negi na abuake. Relax. Kaina bu na che jiko biko. Kaina ba. Eche zini fo oso. Inugo. Ya. What for? The gods are wise. You see, they make decisions on their own. And what can we mortals do? Is it Dibia? The gods are to give us favor and protect us. Is that not so? You are right. So, why do they have to now make decisions that can hurt us? I know how you feel. No, you don't know how I feel. You don't know how I feel. Of course I do. That was why I said the gods are wise. Wherefore, you are worried. Is that all you do? Is your only child? Giving her to serve Mirama <laughs> is like making you childless all of a sudden. Exactly. She's my only child. Listen, let me tell you. Let me remind you. Ochanja has only one child. And that one child is me. Now look at me. I'm here, serving the gods. Is it Divya? This is not fair. This is absolutely not fair. If I will advise you, I will say you keep your fingers crossed. After all, the cause have not finally concluded that your daughter is choosing. They have not. Are you by any way suggesting that the gods might change their mind? I doubt. Yes, I doubt. <laughs> if you people ask my opinion concerning this year's competition, I'll say that the people of Amawozu will be very prepared for us. I know. But at the same time, no matter how prepared they are, hmm? <laughs> they are no match for us at yes, all. I I know already. I know. It's, it's certain. Yes, sir. When we have somebody like Oledo, eh? Matter is matter. Matter go go go. Matter is finished. Because once he comes out with that uh, astonishing dance step, winning is our own now. Competition has ended. <laughs> And if I'm not there to play the flute for her to display the astonishing dance steps that you're talking about, how, how are we going to win? Tell me. Ah, why are you talking like this? Why won't you be there to play the flute for her? Or is there anything you're not telling us? Anything like what? About Oledo. Are you having any issue with her? Me, I don't have any issues with her. 
My own is that I do not like her anymore. It's simple. I'm just helping her because it's my destiny. Something like that. Gentlemen, just hear yourself talk. Just hear the gentleman talk. Eh? It is your destiny to save her. And here you are, saying that you don't like her anymore. When you know too well that the ghost has given you the, the, the destiny to save her. Chetana, let me tell you. You and Oledo. Like this. Both of you are meant for each other. Yes. I am God's for each. I've told you. Meant for each other. Keta, do you know what your problem is? You are not just satisfied with one woman. Ooh. That's your problem. <laughs> okay, you can say whatever you like. That's your business. All I know is that Oledo is not a match for Chetana. Was he good? <laughs> what do you think is not good about her? Eh? Do you know how many men that are ready to kill themselves just to come close to her? Mm. Do you know the number of maidens that are also ready to kill themselves just to come close to me? Do you know? Do you know? Any problem? Orgini. Uh, can we talk in private? Private? Annually, my friend, when the eyes can no longer withstand what the ears have heard, it begins to drop water. I am just coming from is a Dibia's place. Okay. I went to see him regarding the decision of the gods that my daughter is going to be a priestess. Miriam. Oh yes, oh yes. I even thought of uh, coming to see you over the same issue. So how do you look at it? You are asking me how do I look at it? Yes, I mean, what's your decision? My decision? My daughter will not be a servant to any god or goddess. <sighs> My friend, Nafo, mm -hmm. this matter is like a two-edged sword. If you don't handle it with care, it might boomerang and hurt you. Anyele, nothing will happen to me, nor my family. She cannot become a priestess of Miriam. She is my only child. She cannot become a servant to Miriam. My friend, don't you think it might something might go wrong if you refuse your daughter doing according to the wish of the gods? Anneli, nothing will happen to me, nor my family. My daughter is not going to be a servant or a priestess to Miriam. That is final. So, what's the outcome of your visit to Ezedibia? Well, what can he say? He told me that uh, the gods are still, still consulting with the gods, uh, that he's, he's going to get back to me. And that's just oh, what he told me. Right. If that be the case, I think there's no need for you to panic. Hmm? Just be calm and wait until you hear from him. I don't care whatever he has to say. I don't care whatever he has to say. All I know is that my daughter, my only child, will not 
become a servant to Miriamma. Simple, and that is final. Think about what you said. Hmm? But I want you to know this. I need a caring woman. Hmm? A woman who will take very good care of me. And may we walk on. I get easily provoked. So I do not want to hurt anybody with my provocation. I know. And I swear never to get angry all the days of my life. Chita, you see? You are the man I've been dreaming to have as a husband. I will do just anything. Anything to keep you to myself. Cheta, I love you so much. No problem. I've heard you. Cheta, please don't turn me down. I love you so much. Face is like this. What did the Ezidibia say? I just hope all is well. Because he has anything to tell us, there's nothing good he has to say. Absolutely nothing good. Does it mean our daughter will still become the priestess of Miroma or what? I wish I knew. But I don't know for now. Hi! Chimo. Oh, can CJ? Do I owe this visit? Anyway, nothing much. There's no problem. Just that I've come to tell you about the meeting that women of whom you have at the village square tomorrow. I hope no problem. There is no problem. It's just that the meeting is very important. It has to do with our village whom we go. All right. I've had you. I'll be there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Oma, we are on our way to your house. Is your mother at home? No. She went to Uguta to see a friend. Oma, when is she coming back? Before the sunset. Oma, please, tell your mother when she comes back. The women of Umigo will be having a meeting tomorrow at the village square. Okay. Please, don't forget. Oma, I won't. Of whom we will. I greet you. We greet you too. You are welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Some of you know the reason why we are gathered today at this meeting. Some of you may also not know. And I want to tell all of us why we are gathered together this evening. The gods of our land has chosen the next priestess of Miriamma. And you know, as tradition demands, that we need to begin uh, to prepare... Uh, uh, excuse me. Please, I have a question to ask. Oh, Nyoma, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, it's not, I don't really have much to say. It's just one question. But I let it not be as if it's, it's an insult. It's not to, it's as, as it is from my heart. Please. Am I not in this village? How come the gods chose another priestess of Miriam and I'm not aware? Eziako, we don't really understand you again. Does it mean that you have forgotten that the gods have chosen your daughter, Oledo, to be the next priestess of Miriam? It's your daughter that will become the next hey, priestess of Miriam. Hey. 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 Don't talk to me like that. Uh, I shouldn't talk to you like that. Yes. See who is talking. Oh, 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 oh. So this is the reason for this meeting. Mm? All of you are in support. Look at your faces. So all of you are in support of my daughter becoming the next priestess. Tfia! Yes, I'm going to change the name of you. Yes, I'm going to change the name of you. Mba Welia! Eziako, why are you talking like this? Eh? What is the problem? My daughter will never become the priestess of Miriamma. Or any other date, and over my dead body will I give her to Miriamma? Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. But that's the soul of the gods, not us. Why are you doing this? Let the gods choose from another family, maybe from your family. Definitely not my daughter, not my only child. Dalolo. <laughs> 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 